Okay, what's up ladies and gents? This is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with yet another video. So I did a haul um, that I posted last night of some Milani items and I actually got the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I got this and I got it in the color Chestnut. So basically this will be like my um my first impressions of this product and I'm going to do a sweat proof test because I do go to the gym and I want to see how this holds up because it says that it is um sweat proof and it's also medium to full coverage. It's lightweight, oil free, uh, long lasting, water resistant and sweat proof like I said. So um, right now I just have on some moisturizer on my face. I will not put any kind of um, primer on my face because I am oily. I do use a matte primer. I will not set my face. I will just wear this all day long while I'm at work. And then I will go to the gym to see how it holds up at the gym because I sweat really bad at the gym. But anyway, um, this... I got this at Walmart. It was $8.97. I know a lot of people said that they paid $9.99, but at my Walmart here in my city, it was $8.97. So, <clears throat> a good thing about this um, is that it has a pump on it. As you can see, it does have a pump, and a lot of drugstore uh, makeup do not have pumps on it so that is a plus right there the price is a plus as well $8.97 you can't beat that um so but the only thing is that it didn't have a lot of darker colors there was one other color that was above this one it was the number 14 and that kind of looked a little bit too dark for me but we, we shall see about this chestnut honey so I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into putting this on my face. Um, and then I'm going to head to work. And we're going to see, honey. We're going to see about Meloni. Okay. So, I don't know. Hopefully this will match my complexion really good. I do have... Um, red undertones in my skin. I'm going to have to put some more. I do not have yellow undertones in my skin at all. Make sure I put enough on there, honey. We're going to see how they work. <clears throat> Take my little brush. I don't know about this cut. Oh, well, And we're going to see how it does with the my under eyes as well because I do have dark circles under my eyes and a little baggage there. Mm. It looks like it is matching me pretty good actually um put some on over my eyes huh let's see i got another mirror over here y'all it looks like it's matching pretty good um it is definitely light to medium coverage as it said. No, it says medium to full coverage. I don't know about that, y'all. I really do not. I really can't say that it is medium to full coverage. I would consider this maybe <clears throat> light to medium coverage uh, or whatnot. But I will say that um, the color is on point with me. so far okay it really feels um it actually feels really light on my skin um it's not heavy at all which i don't like heavy uh, foundations i do like a um a light 
to medium coverage foundation on my face. Um, I don't like anything heavy. Uh, I don't have that many blemishes to cover up, so that's why I like the um, the light to medium coverage of foundations or whatnot. Um, I will say, I'm trying to, it's matching um, my color, my face, um, pretty good so far. So I think I might have gotten the right color, number 13 and chestnut. But we shall see um, how this, you know, um, holds up for the rest of the day. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, doing the rest of my face. I'm going to put on a little um, eyeliner and stuff like that so my eyes can pop. Uh, I don't wear a lot of makeup to work. So we're just going to put something light on my eyes. That's a little eyeliner, honey. Not even a lot. I just don't like wearing heavy makeup to work for some odd reason. I just don't. I never have. So yeah, we're gonna finish this. And I will come back a little later um, after I go to the gym and um show you guys how it looks um because I, i'm really interested to see how this works honey but anyway it looks really good on my skin y'all what do y'all think just putting on a little mascara and y'all this is this uh it's the elf um three in one mascara right here Y'all, did I use this, y'all? This is the bomb. Like I was impressed with this uh, mascara. I actually got this at um, Old Navy one day that I was in Old Navy. It's a little bit. that okay just a little lipstick and i am off honey for the rest of the day like i said um no primer no anything like that i'm not setting it with anything just so i can see how it holds up and y'all It feels really good on my face. It's lightweight. I, I'm loving it. I'm actually loving the color as well. It looks like a perfect match, honey. Woo! Yes, I'm loving it. All right, y'all. I will be back a little later to show you guys um, how my face held up for the day, okay? Okay, y'all. So, I am back. I have literally been wearing this makeup since about... Um, 7 55 a.m this morning it is now 7 30 so i have been wearing this foundation for almost 12 hours today i um went to the gym and i just left the gym you guys and um this is how it held up all throughout my gym session i was at the gym for about um two hours so, um, but yeah, so this is how it looks, as you can see. Note, I did not put any primer on my face this morning, any matte primer, because I am an oily girl in my T-zone right here. I didn't put any primer on, like I said, and I did not set my face with um, a matte primer either. I put the uh, foundation on and left it as is, okay? And so this is how it looks after wearing it all day long and after sweating in it because i wanted to see whether it was sweat proof because it said it was sweat proof okay so as you can see this is how it looks <laughs> uh it it did get really oily right here in my t-zone i will say if you are an oily girl um you will need to prime your face and set your face with some kind of matte primer or spray now i guarantee you if i had of um 
put my primer on and my um, setting spray, it would have lasted all day long. And as you can see right here, I um, was, it was at one, no, I take that back, it was 12.30 when I um, uh, recorded this clip right here. And um, you could start telling that it was um, getting a little oily on my face, you know, as the day went on. And then um, this clip right here was around uh, five o'clock-ish. Um, it was right before I went to the gym or whatnot. And you could tell that the oil was right here in my T-zone area, really, really bad. And um, that clip right here is when I was at the gym sweating like a bull, y'all. Yes, I was sweating like a bull. Your girl get in at the gym, honey. Okay yes honey but anyway um so this is how the foundation held up you guys um for me it is it's not really uh the best especially if i you know you don't prime your face but overall i will say this is a really good prime i mean a really good foundation or whatnot um, as far as the finish goes, it wasn't a matte finish anyway. I think it was more like a, um, I guess like a satin finish, um, uh, foundation or whatnot. But, um, this is how it held up, honey. It held up pretty good. My face didn't slide off at the gym, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, it didn't slide all the way off like how I was, you know, was thinking that it may do. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't look bad, bad. But, of course, you can see the oil or whatnot. Um, so, is it sweat proof? Mm, yeah, I, I would say that because I did not blot my face. Even when I was sweating, I just let the sweat um, dry up on my face. I didn't blot nothing at all. I didn't blot my face all throughout the day. Anything. I didn't even touch my face. And this is how it looks. You know, after, you know, no blotting, sweating, and everything like that. Um, uh, the color itself, I think it was spot on for me. Um, I think this color will um, hold up really good for me in the summertime as well. Although, in the summertime, I do not wear foundation because I am a sweater. So, I don't think that I will wear you know this particular foundation in the summertime unless i'm going out but um yeah i think the color like i said the color would um, hold up pretty good in the summertime because i do get a little darker in the summertime and this color actually matches my skin tone because i do um have pink undertones red pink or red undertones so you know it held up pretty good and the color it matches to me it matches it really spot on or whatnot um I'm looking at my other mirror over here. So, but overall, I would say that um, it's a pretty good foundation. I think, honey, once I prime my face and set it with that matte primer, bam, baby, this uh, foundation, foundation will be the bomb, y'all. So, um, yeah, tell me how it looks, honey, after all day. This is 12 hours sweating in everything, y'all. So, tell me how y'all think it looks. I mean, I don't think it looks really bad, but... I didn't, like I said, I didn't blot it. So, but anyway, um, comment down below, honey, and let me know how my face looked, honey, after 12 hours and after sweating like a bull, baby. A bull, yes. But anyway, uh, if you haven't um, gotten this foundation, I, I would recommend this foundation. Really, really recommend this foundation. It is a drugstore foundation. It is really cheap. I only pay $8.97 at my Walmart, although some people said it was $9.99. Um, but I think, you know, if you're not an oily girl, this would do really, really good uh, without a primer for you. But for me, I needed a primer or whatnot. But I think it held up pretty good, honey, all day long. And it with no blotting. So, but anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you um, thumbs it up. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel. And if you would like to share this video, make sure you share this video as well. And stay tuned for many more videos.